Suraj has sent a message. In the point where the attention is focused, the creature thinks that this is the reality. Actually, it is a more complicated process. There is no real creature. There is no real entity there. There are a collection of layers. Now, what happens is that because of some reason, the memory recall has happened. You know, there nobody is thinking it like this. There is nobody who thinks. There is no person. So this memory recall happens of the past, and your intellect will correctly say that, "Oh, it is just memory," and it will simply ignore it. But as soon as it has appeared, the other lower layers, which have no intelligence at all, they will start functioning as if this is real experience. For the lower layers, there is no difference between a memory and a direct perception. Now, if the emotional layer is active, it will produce emotions as if you know something really has happened in the present moment, and uh, other layers they will start acting like the body will sag down, will sit down. You will lose your uh, hunger or something, you know, any desire to work, depression. So, but the intellect cannot understand what is happening, why it is happening. Nothing is there in the present moment, but it has already made that kind of triggered those activities which happen when there is really a bad experience. So, your conclusion is very good, but uh, we should not make this mistake that. there is somebody who is thinking and doing it no it's all happening automatically what happens is when you have awareness intellect cannot stop these things obviously it will simply get confused why why am i depressed today <laughs> and uh, if you have awareness the awareness can light up all these activities that are happening in all the layers and the intellect is now informed by the awareness by the knowledge that this is happening and now it the, now the effect is very little it will happen for a, for a moment you know 5 minutes maybe but then you will recollect yourself that means you will stand up and you will do whatever is your daily routine you will not hang on to that memory especially when you are a seeker and you know that all memories are false not only the memories are false the present perception is also false the present events are also really not happening so if there is no danger to this body mind then there is no need to get involved in those things the intellect will be informed like this by the awareness and we say that now the layers are acting in the light of awareness and they will produce something a little bit you see because that is their nature but it won't form any kind of permanent impression this is the healthy mind finally there is a lot of control here not only your memory won't affect you that much your present circumstance also won't affect you because you know i am the observer i am the witness nothing is really happening to me there are no emotions in me there is no garbage in me like this no memories in me i am pure and this thought alone will <laughs> clean up many things from the mind so that is why only a self realized person can have healthy mind rest of the people have a sick mind there is some kind of always some kind of mental sickness in a worldly person so you must have seen these people they recall the things again and again and remain sad because that happened in their life there is so much attachment to that event and they think that it happened to me and they don't know the meaning of me they don't know the meaning of i there is no i it happens to nobody so all kinds of emotions anger sadness and now you can see it is unnecessary that which is unnecessary can be called a mental mental distortion only and now you find 99% of people are like this they are all, they are all crazy now i can understand that you know if something is happening right in front of you then there is a need to react that is that means the healthy ego you see we call it healthy ego because if you don't defend if you don't react then it will grow then the person who is behaving badly or attacking <laughs> will keep doing it so there the intelligence says that you know i need to stop this so stop this and you move on without even thinking about it that is a healthy mind and those who plan revenge and those who you know i'll show him one day and so on they have form attachments they have form bonds now it is so strong actually we take it lightly but it is very strong this energy that it will if you don't act on it in this lifetime you will need to take a new birth to act it out and now you can imagine there is a mountain of such bonds impressions in us everybody 
It happens every day in the life of an average person. If you start cleaning it now, <laughs> it can take many lifetimes. So this is the bigger perspective. So that is why a seeker is not involved with people, not involved with the world, not involved with anything. You see, he has dropped down to the minimalist life, where the minimal that is to be done is to take care of the body. The rest is actually happening. It does not matter. So that is why seekers become like this. They have no desires left. They are seen as lazy. You know, they are not doing anything because doing something means there is a desire. or there there is some kind of distortion in the mind and uh, they are seen as blissfully sitting one place whenever they are hungry they do something because now that is required isn't it so do the necessary and drop the unnecessary keep dropping the unnecessary till you become empty and this mountain will be flattened for you we don't want it to become you know totally flat this is our you can say selfishness we just want to end that much we just want to clean that much which is forcing us into repeated human birth you know now you no you need not worry about the experience or in the existence they are far away they are this these things are these teachings very high up there and this time as a seeker the immediate goal is to get rid of the human form as soon as possible if you clean up the whole causal body where the impressions are getting stored there won't be anything left actually it is like recycling back this uh, pile of memories which is now belong to nobody this functional like they are not functioning they are dead they will be recycled back they will appear as fragments of impressions in other bodies other uh, forms organisms he is never totally gone he has the owner of it is gone <laughs> but uh, we don't want that you know we, we want the owner to stay we want the individualistic existence individualistic layer to stay for a while but we don't want the human form so clear only that which is forcing you in the human form if it is desires fulfill the desires if there are bad memories and all forgive if there are bad intentions for people or something else you know discard useless the clean up must be done and how to do it on the path of knowledge awareness you don't need to do anything don't do anything crazy awareness there is a very beautiful mechanism in the higher layers they drip feed you <laughs> it's like a drip drop by drop the stuff that keeps us as humans or animals the drop by drop it comes when when it uh, starts settling as if the clogged pipe is opened as if and lot of it comes then your life will speed up tremendously like a hurricane the events that must happen in four or five lifetimes they all happen in one lifetime this is called accelerated evolution simply be aware simply be in knowledge this there is natural mechanism there in the layered structure many of you must be having this kind of experience if not don't worry there is nothing probably your tank is empty up there so <laughs> nothing is coming that means that's a good news because the next life will be not human non human chang is saying so i saw it possible to destroy all this unnecessary desires with the sword of intelligence is it also feasible for prarabdh karma or past desire that haven't been satisfied yes it is not called sword of intelligence you know that intelligence acts later on you need to illuminate that intelligence with awareness otherwise our intelligence is limited it will do that which is in its hands the immediate thing it will do the knowledge will actually make the intelligence even more sharper even more active now earlier it used to know how to do it now it knows why to do it why not to do it isn't it that is called wisdom which nobody has they are all very intelligent but they don't know what to do <laughs> they don't know why i should not do it or why i should do it they simply do it because they can and you see the whole world is in trouble because of this their intelligence is their enemy because there is no wisdom there is no discretion discernment is absent and like i said vivek they are absent so a lot of intelligence human intelligence is being used for selfish reasons or to cause harm this is also selfish reason not only individuals are doing it the entire countries are doing like this no wisdom is seen in their actions many times the intelligence is a slave of the animal instincts that's all it is so this wisdom will never wake up unless there is awareness 
and awareness will never come unless there is knowledge and the knowledge will never come unless you have a guru that means there is no progress without a guru no progress without a proper path only the guru tells you how to walk on the path even if you know all these things you will never implement it